DigiKey presents and Adafruit bring you Hi, on NPR. It's now time for Ion MPI. That's right. And uh, this one is for all the people who are doing CNC builds who are like, how come you don't cover any motor drivers on Ion MPI? Yeah. Well, today we're going to take a step in the right direction Yeah. with these stepper drivers. And we're going to keep with the pyramid theme. That's right. Which company is this and what do they make? This is uh, Trinamic and uh, they're a German motor control company that they make um, really high quality stepper motor drivers and one of the things that they're kind of famous for is their stepper drivers are really silent. They figured out a way to micro step motors so you don't get that annoying squeak that most people are mm. used to with stepper motors and we'll show off a demo. So uh, the chip today, the chip of the day is dun, 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 the Trinamic TMC2226. Um, it just came out and it's an HTSOP um, shaped uh, the 28 pin uh, stepper motor driver. It drives one stepper motor. Um, but what's really cool is it can drive a stepper motor at 2.4 amp peak, 2 amp RMS continuous, which is um, more than the previous models and more than most stepper drivers. So if you wanted to upgrade your CNC build uh, to handle a little bit more current, this is your motor driver. Okay, so first thing, if you open up the data sheet, they've got this awesome logo. It's like a stepper motor, but as a speaker and then a big no sign. No, no, no making noise. This is the big thing. The big thing is that they're they're called like silent steppers. No so um, this is what they're they're good at. And um, it's you know, people often upgrade their lower cost or um, not as high quality stepper motor drivers, choose trinamic drivers because like CNC board um, machines and 3D printers can be have pretty noisy uh, stepper drivers if they're not running this uh, silent technology. Okay, so um, stepper drivers, you know, as I was doing this, actually was researching um, stepper drivers, and um, the, you know, this is all the pins on the chip. There's a lot of power and ground pins. It, there's 28 pins. It looks a little scary, but it's not so bad. Um, and the, there's basically three ways to drive it. And the, the first one is the simplest, kind of the uh, legacy style, where you give it power and ground, you have a couple capacitors, and then there's um, two pins that set the micro stepping, so you can set it to be like, I think one eighth, one sixteenth. Let me look it up because I want to make sure I get this right. Um, one, yeah, one eighth micro stepping, one sixteenth, one thirty second, one sixty fourth. So you can do that just by setting these uh, two pins, which are labeled here MS one, MS two, and then you have step and dur. And when uh, you know dur is high. The stepper always goes in one direction, and then you drop pin the dirt pin low, it goes in the other direction. And then every time the step pin toggles, um, the stepper motor steps in one direction. So it's very simple. It uh, can be driven by any microcomputer, you know, microcontroller. It's extremely easy. Uh, you can use three or five volt logic. And then the motor, you give it, I think, um, up to like 36 volts. Okay, so that's like the simplest way. But there's also this like other kind of interesting um, way to drive it. So up top you see there's the SD step uh, direction and then the stepper motor and you just need some sensor resistors. Um, but they also have a UART interface which is kind of interesting because it lets you control up to four of these TMC steppers in a more advanced fashion by sending it like these like CNC, sorry, CRC UART uh, packets. And um, it uses a one bi-directional, so like half duplex UART. You know, you can actually also tell it when it's like, okay, you um, so uh, the, you don't want to get started quickly, you can download these KiCad files. And it's rare. Usually you get like a PDF or maybe you'll get like ORCAD or Altium. They usually don't use an open source tool, um, but I think makers will really like this. Um, if you, you know, use KiCad, it's open source schematic capture and layout software. So you can see here, um, this is a pretty easy uh, board to put together and I, I have a demo or maybe I thought we'd uh, yeah we have a demo and we have a video so let's look at the demo and then we'll play a video yeah so I thought I'd show the chip and then I'll show the demo so um, I got some of these chips so the secret of this package is it's got this huge uh, ground plane on the bottom here that's used for heat sinking so um, on my prototype you know I don't have a, a pad on that so I can't overdrive this motor but that's what lets you do that you know high current uh, 2.4 amp peak per coil winding. 
Um, but it's not a very big chip. It's you know, easy to pick in place. You can even hand solder it. Um, so this morning I soldered it onto uh, one of our TSOP 28 breakouts. And I have it hooked up here to uh, just a metro. And this is that step direction interface. So I have pin 3 connected to direction and pin 2 connected to step. And I'm just having it um, toggle. So let me turn it on. And um, you can see this is just smoothly turning this stepper motor is really easy to get started and it's really really quiet um this is doing i think one eighth micro stepping and like you can't hear it at all um it's super quiet so uh this i think would be a great upgrade to um a 3d printer project or a cnc you know robot or you know a, a drawing robot anything that uses stepper motors especially when you need a lot of torque you need a lot of current um and the price is the same as other stepper drivers, about $1.50, $1.60 in quantity from DigiKey. Okay, and uh, let's um, play a little bit of video. So it's a couple minutes, and we'll see you on the other side and tell you where to get on DigiKey. Okay. Spread Cycle is Trinamic's advanced chopper mode that gives you best performance and smoothest motor operation with every step of your target current sine waveform, especially during zero crossing. Mm -hmm. This is done by Trinamic's patented mixed decay mode, where every fast decay phase gets adapted with every chopper cycle. Stealth Chop is Trinamic's new patented, one-of-its-kind voltage-controlled mode, which enables absolute quiet stepper motor control in low and medium velocity ranges with maximum torque. On top of that, the movement of the motor is even more smooth than with spread cycle and a microstep resolution of 256. To give best performance at any velocity, Trinamic Stealth Chop drivers allow automatic switching between Stealth Chop and Spread Cycle. This is done by setting a velocity threshold in one of its registers. The difference here is that current control chopper modes like Spread Cycle always reacts to the coil current measurement in a cycle by cycle base. This results in the typical stepper motor noise or even hissing or chirping. Stealth Chop is using a fixed frequency which leads to absolute quiet stepper motor operation. Stealth Chop is driving a clean sine wave current into the motor coils without adapting the frequency every chopper cycle. This leads to less current ripple and an incredible smooth run of the motor. The first time I saw Stealth Chop in the development, I couldn't believe that this actually is a stepper motor. You see on the tablet four different micro step resolutions I use for this video. Full step, common 16 times micro stepping, for many companies still state of the art, spread cycle with 256 micro steps, and Stealth Chop. I will go through each mode on the tablet now. Starting with full stepping and at a velocity of around 100 rpm, you clearly hear the audible noise. Switching to 16 times micro stepping already reduces the noise a lot. Switching to 256 micro steps and Trinamic spread cycle technology reduces audible noise dramatically and makes the movement much smoother. Switching to stealth chop makes the movement even smoother and the motor is completely silent. We can increase the velocity here to around 300, but that's not the limit. Okay, and here's where to get it on DigiKey. And as always, we have the product and the short URL. ID and the short URL. Yep. So they, uh, Digi looks like they got a couple reels of this, and I bought like the first five. Like this was a this is a super hot new product. I mean, this was just put in the you know, Digi shop like two or three days ago. Um, but I know people who are always looking for the next big upgrade for their CNC projects. So I thought I would get this out there. Um, you can pick up the chips at Digi. Is just search for TMC two 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 six, or uh, go to that short URL and uh, check it out. And then of course, download the KiCad files uh, so you can get started immediately on upgrading your CNC bot. And that's I am NPI this week. Hi, I'm NPI.